Back to Mercedes. So she, in this same segment, she interrupts Britt Baker. She has people come out with balloons and it's her celebration of winning a second belt that, to be honest, I'd never even heard of before. The N- New Japan's strong women's title. I mean, Never heard it. Yeah, I mean, if you think AEW's got a lot of titles, New Japan, my God, they, they must have like almost infinitesimal amount of belts at one point or another. Hey, so, I like that word. I, I, yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's good. Infinitesimal. Infinitesimal. <laughs> Countless. Countless. She comes out and she's doing the whole thing. She's finally turned heel. Yes. But it seems official she's turned heel. I've sent you a couple of <laughs> videos of interviews she did and even one from the Dynamite the week before where she is challenging Stephanie Vakir for the NJPW strong women's title and now she's got two belts, that kind of thing. And I think she was still she's a baby cha- face. She's challenging who? Stephanie Vakir. Who is that? Well, exactly. I mean, if you're going to do something, get somebody who has a name and have her beat a name. Oh, well, she, Tony, the, the money you're paying, you can get a name. She's got a name for hell, only the beat, hardcore wrestlers that and she, doesn't really explain who she is to the rest of us. Hell, she could beat me if Tony wants to pay me enough. I'll get in the ring with her, hmm. and I'll just lay down. I'll just grab her and just, whoop, and just fall down, one, two, three, and she wants to kick out, and I won't let her. I'm holding <laughs> her down. You could be the New Japan Strong Women's Champion right now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but your price is too high. What do you think I would charge him? Try to charge him? Oh, at least 10. Oh, yeah, at least. Yeah. Guess what I'd get? Zero. 200. <laughs> <laughs> Probably 200 bucks. Yeah, you've got to start high. And hey, um, uh, Tony overpaid me. <laughs> Here's another 100 <laughs> back. <laughs> so now Mercedes is officially a heel. Okay. About her time. interview, to me, she's irritating as hell. I don't, I think this is a thing that bothers me about female wrestling. They go to the ring half naked, but don't want anybody to say anything to them about having their breast showing or their ass hanging out. They don't want anybody, any of the males out there to say anything. Well, why did you dress that way? Yeah, you look great. So if a male is going to say something, You know, he's not going <clears> to <throat> say something that bad. He said, oh, your, your tits look good. Oh, that's going to that's gonna make her mad. Oh, don't, don't make me about my body. Make me about my talent. Well, M- M- Monet, I hate to tell you, your talent's not in your interviews, I'll tell you that. And I don't think it's in your work, to tell you the truth. I see nothing in her, and I can see why she didn't get along with WWE because she's she has an ego and you can't have an ego in WWE, especially when Vince was there. Vince had the ego. Nobody else had one. So if you wanted to match egos with him, go in there and talk to him. And then the next thing we see is you're walking out the door with your bag in your hand. And now if she wants to have an ego there, they still won't put up with it. You cannot allow that to happen. You cannot allow the talent to tell the management what they'll do or they won't do because pretty soon uh, the other talent sees that the management doesn't have control like they thought they do, and you you got chaos on your hands. So there was an interview that we won't talk about really aside from the fact that I'm sure she was trying to be a baby face, but she just comes off as such. Uh, I have to block that word, you know? Oh, you do have to block that word. Yes. I've got to block that one for goodness sake. Let me just make a note of it. 42. <laughs> there. <clears throat> okay. Right. I've written the note on that. You want, you want to do it again? No, we might as well leave that in just for the filthy uh, language that you know, that Dutch uses. And then he accuses yeah. me of other things. Anyway, Mercedes Monet in an interview building up Forbidden Door, I believe. I'm not even sure it was before or after Forbidden Door, whatever it was. Anyway, here's a quote. Acting, I really didn't see coming because I didn't know how those doors of opportunities were going to come. Especially I always in wondered WWE. that. Um, and I, I love WWE, but they tried so hard to not make me do The Mandalorian mm. and put me on house shows when I was supposed to film. And it was pulling teeth Wow. Just to get on that show, just to be a part of that show. So 
these new doors of opportunity here at AEW, I have all the time in the world to go do acting and more. And Tony will pick me up on the private jet to take me to the shows <laughs> and back to the other show to film. So it's so beautiful. It's so cool that I get these new doors. And I feel like oh, it's yeah. just the universe being like, we want you to be this beautiful superstar that we see you as. What kind of what kind of what? comment is that? What did I just say that you censored? Yes. I'm not going to say it again. I'll rest my case. Right, let's let's bring up two things. Let's bring up the first thing first. Uh, how dare WWE want you to do the job they pay you for? No, and pay you well. Yeah. Now, Tony probably pays her better, I guess, for what I'm hearing. But I don't think she's making all that money that she claims she's making or it's reported she's making. Maybe because Tony Khan's got more money than he's got sense at, the, at this point. Because she is not turning any numbers. I don't think anybody over there is turning the numbers that, that could uh, quantify their paycheck. She's turning channels <laughs> to other channels when she's on. She lost the fans almost immediately because I think she's just so intrinsically unlikable that she can't hide it. And she may not even have the self-awareness about and, it. Okay, if anybody tells her there... You need to stop this. Oh, she's not going to listen to them. She is better than AEW combined just herself. And if some producer comes up to her and tells her, uh, can you stop that? Even if Tony Khan comes up to her and tells her to stop doing something, eh, she will talk to him. She'll show him respect, but she'll talk him in <clears throat> into allowing her to do it. So I don't see what we want to do in wrestling is create interest. She's creating disinterest. So when she comes out there, a lot of people said, uh, th they may not turn the channel, but they may turn the brain off. Hmm. So when she come out, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, I, I have never watched the Monet, a uh, Mercedes Monet interview till you sent me that little clip said, what's this? I've never watched it. Nor did I ever have the inclination to watch it. <clears throat> she does nothing. Now let's take a girl, Chelsea Green in WWE. I will watch her to the cows come home because she's entertaining. She's funny. She acts stupid. And it's, it's to me, and I like that girl anyway, but Monet doing all this stuff and out there, you know, I would actually pay to see Chelsea Green just beat the crap <laughs> out of Mercedes yeah. Monet. No, we need to go uh, fund me started. <laughs> so Matt Cardona, set one up. Yeah, do um, it, do it. Right, let's let's get the other part of this quote, and we've got another quote to go as well here. So the private jet, Tony will pick me up because he gives me so much time, and he lends me the private jet. A lovely humble brag there. Well, that's something we can all relate to, of course. What about wait a minute? What about the climate change? What about global warming? Ah, maybe that's why her hair changes colour so much, because she's on the private jet, like, behind the engine. So he sends wherever she is. I guess his private jet is in Jacksonville. That's where he lives, right? Mm-hmm. But where it's based, I suspect, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know where she lives, New York. So he sends his private jet to New York to take her to Kansas City. Yeah, to poison that's the why. earth. Yeah, that's quite a bit of flying. And she gets on there and she probably takes her boyfriend. Have you seen her boyfriend? The husband. He uh, looks her husband. We'll, we'll be bringing up the husband in a second. Don't you oh, worry. He my, looks put my. upon. <laughs> I'll tell you that for nothing. Well, oh, don't you worry God. when we get to that husband. That poor, that poor fella. He's a saint, let me tell you. Now, hey, like. we don't talk bad about people on this show. Remember, Tony. We have a reputation to uphold here. Yes, absolutely. So it's also, and this is the thing that really chaps my ass, is people just going on about, oh, you know, all these wonderful things happen to me. The universe is looking out for me because I'm so wonderful. And the, uni the universe at large, apparently, whether it's religion or some other spirituality or something, is now looking out for you to make you a superstar that can fly on private jets. Mm -hmm. I hadn't realized she was so special. No. Nope. It's like, hey, look at me. The world revolves around my ass. Mm -hmm. And that's what she thinks. So, and I think when she goes out there, 
I don't know how she gets along in the dressing room. I guess fine. Oh, she has to get along there to go along. So I guess she gets along fine, but if see, they say the biggest mark is in actually the wrestling business. So if, let's say he doesn't send the private jet to pick her up. Say that is just a bunch of crap, but I've heard that before somewhere, but watch if the other talent are thinking, well, he doesn't send the private jet for me. He don't pay me that money. He's paying her that money. So even though it may be just a setup statement that she makes, I think it could get her a lot of heat in the dressing room. So here is another quote. I think it might have been from the same interview, like Hot 97 or something like that. I didn't write down the thing. We'll try and get it on the screen. Here's another quote um, about an outfit that her husband had made for her. Yes. And what was the least favorite design that he's done for you? Ooh. And you felt and I was comfortable. I was pissed <laughs> off. I was mad. Yeah. It was um, Money in the Bank. He made me this disgusting, ugly. <laughs> Who puts green, yellow, white, and navy together? Yeah. I it was like, I legit cried and screamed. I'm like, oh. I'm not going to wrestle good. This looks makes you look ugly. I hate it. I made him feel so bad. I'm like, this is not what I said. I didn't like all this stuff. <laughs> and honestly, it, it didn't make me feel confident when I went out there. I remember doing my entrance and I slipped a little bit. It's like, man, what a colossal super bitch to, th to throw a husband <laughs> under the bus. And he's doing her a favor. Oh, her husband should be, he should be punched right in the mouth. Well, we know who wears the lupus green and yellow pants in that family, let me tell you. No shit. And I saw the outfit. It didn't look that bad. It had a lot of color to it. After she puts all the color in her hair, she's bitching about color. And, and the yellow made her made her stand out. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was actually pretty good. But her husband goes out of his way to please his wife. And she starts crying and getting mad at him and cussing him out. Brother, if it had been me, we'd have had a huge, huge problem. So... I'd have got my bullwhip out and I'd have told her to stand over in the corner and take a couple of lashes for that. So, so she's just saying, I don't think that's made up. I think that actually happened. No, apparently a husband had actually done an interview with who, who I don't know who's interviewing this guy. I don't know if he's famous in something, some other endeavor, but apparently he said the same story, but he didn't say it like this. You know, he didn't say it like basically he just talks about himself like a piece of crap. But he's a designer kind of anyway, right? Well, he Somehow. must he must be to be making clothes. He must be some sort of designer in that sense, yeah. Well, anyway, when I saw his picture, uh, do you know Gypsy Rose? No. You know who I'm talking about? No. Gyp Gypsy Rose is a, she's all over the, she's all over the social media. She, her mother, she had her mother killed by her boyfriend and she got like 10 years in jail. He got like 40 years and that's not her. Uh, I may, I don't know. I don't think that's her. Okay. But she has this series now out and she, her husband uh, Monet's husband looks like the husband of Gypsy of Gypsy Rose. Mm. I mean, they don't look alike, but you know, this they're both kind of ugly looking guys. And I hate to say it, but not like and I'm us. thinking, no, no, we're handsome. We're ha we're handsome bastards. That's the spirit. But but I'm I'm saying, what in the hell would she see in him? Free outfits. I guess I don't know. I do remember we talked about Gypsy Rose some months ago, vaguely. I've got a vague memory of that, yeah. Because she went yeah, to like well, an AEW show, I think, weirdly. But she's got like 10 million followers now. She just got out of prison like six, eight months ago, and she has 10 million followers. Hey, well, you know, it's two people who don't deserve the amount of money they're getting, I guess. Uh, also, as far as her role in The Mandalorian, I mean, it could have been a bit of... Okay, The Mandalorian, yeah. what is that? Disney, I didn't see it's, it. it's Star Oh, it's great. Mandalorian on Disney Plus, uh, Star Wars what universe. Was Mer Mercedes Monet, how was her part in there? It, she, it could have been a bit of rag on a stick. 
for all that it mattered. She had like three lines and she was just in the background. She had no big part in it. So why, I mean, I'm sure it's important for her to be on screen and get into acting or whatever. But honestly, it, her part was so insignificant that it could have been anybody. How was her lines delivered? Can't remember. I watched it. The last time I saw The Mandalorian was at least a year ago. I cannot remember. She was like, not Bo-Katan. I think it might have been Bo-Katan, like the leader of like the the women Mandalore. No, they're not all women, are they? Anyway, the, I don't know. The Mandalorians that don't wear helmets. Anyway, she was one of them. She was just another oh, person. Oh, oh, the Mandalorians that don't wear helmets. Oh, yes. that's, that's, that explains it. Yeah. Okay. 